Welcome to this episode where we take you on a journey along the West Coast 4x4 route. It's a nice early Sunday morning. We're leaving Cape Town and I've watched a couple of these uh, YouTube videos when uh, people travel down that road and I saw them getting stuck in the sand. So we're going to test our wall. Um, but we're not only going to test our wall, we're taking the caravan with us where other people get stuck with normal vehicles. at the west coast of South Africa, one of the most unspoiled and beautiful places I've been to in a very long time. The road takes you along the beach, close to the beach, and really a relaxing drive for the late afternoon. The road is accessible with a 2x4. We did not have to use our 4x4 on the first day. I would say all the way up to where I, we, we camped for the first day at Reiter's Flay. It is accessible by normal 2x4. But if you want to travel further north towards Groene Viermont, then you will have to have a 4x4. Some thick sand and some tricky navigation comes up later in this video. The route took us all the way from Cape Town, where we left early in the morning, past Marmersbury and Clare William, all the way up to the north where we turned the way when we reached Clava. From Clava we travelled all the way through Fredenbal and to Lutzville. We took the mining road just after Lutzville, stayed to the beach to get a bit more of 4x4 diving on the first day. Arriving at the beach, we spent the afternoon cruising down the beach past Tonox where they mine for heavy metals and we went to our first camp for the night which is the Reiters Flay campsite. As you can see on this map, this farm consists of many campsites, which you can pre-book through a link we will leave down below. The farm is called Waterfall, 
and you can make your bookings by contacting Teresa who we'll leave her contact details down below. Arriving at our first camp, it was quite late, so we pitched our tents and then it was time to just enjoy the view, have a little bye and wait for the next morning till we continued our expedition. The next morning I got up very early because I wanted to shoot a bit of footage for this video. Little did I know that the day has got other plans for me. I enjoyed a cup of coffee, but I can tell you the rest of the morning I did not enjoy that much. Just have a look at what happened. I'm walking in a bush. It's not because I'm enjoying the nature. I lost my down. After spending quite some time searching for it without any luck, I headed down to the beach and I enjoyed the tranquility of the surroundings. The rest of the morning we spent travelling north all the way up to Groenevermont which was the turning point for us at this trip and we just enjoyed what nature had to offer for us. Waiting for the sunshine Waiting for the sunshine Site at Reiter's Flay, we were very quickly met with very thick sand. From here on onwards towards the north, you would definitely need a 4x4 vehicle.
Okay, we had Skull Bank on this West Coast route and uh, a quick stop for a nice coffee. Why not? As we enjoy the route to the end, all the way to Fukutuki Bottom. So enjoy it with us. Later that day, we reached the Groene Vier Lighthouse, which is on the border of the Namakwa Coastal Park. The park is in a protected area, but camping is allowed. There's actually very nice facilities, ablution facilities, and nice camping site scattered all around the coast until you reach the Groen Riviermont area. By midday we reached Groene Viermont which was our turning point for this trip. You will see all the nice facilities for day camping and for people just wanting to come to the park for the day. On our arrival we were met with a couple of young ostriches running on the sand. The rest of the afternoon was spent diving back towards our campsite and even though it was not the correct time of the year to see the Namakwilan flowers in full bloom, we were still able to take amazing photographs of the fauna and flora of the area. And then, for our hard work, it was time to play a bit and really test the capabilities of this GVM of all PCAs and just enjoy the dunes, the sand, the rocks, the water and everything else. Take me to the sky, I got a good feeling Tell me the only thing you are is mine Take me home, take me on a ride Back at the campsite, it was time to make a pointy. Feed the guys for the day 
Ik zou dit recht in gooi man. En ik wijs hier dat mijn muscles niet die zout niet. Ik zou nog weten keer zoveel zout op hem gegooid het. Is genoeg. The Namakwa has got one of the most stunning sunsets that you will ever see. And we were treated to this beautiful sunrise the next morning where we got up early to pack up and take the road back to Cape Town. And as we drive out, you cannot yelp to think why on earth did we not spend more nights here truly an amazing place and worth the visit. Ja, die lens wil niet werken, Iwan. Huh? Lens is. Ja, maar ik moet eerst denken, hoe ga ik beginnen? Oh. Oké, okay. dit was je record. Hij record. Oh, oké. Okay. Nou, maar dat is ik een paar voor, hè? Ja, nee. We hebben een short overlanding trip van. Uh... If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing and visit our Shopify store for merchandise. When you visit your Haval dealer at N1 City, you may use this discount code 24007 for your next purchase.